Here we have a 2005 Honda Accord manual transmission and my clutch pedal broke. Um, one of the brackets on the left side of it has gone bad. Uh, that's the pedal right there. Um, it's a pretty easy job in order, I've already taken it apart, that's why this little thing is right there. In order to take it apart you have to disconnect this sensor and then this yellow sensor right here. One 12 millimeter bolt over here, another one on the other side. Have fun getting that one. And then one right over there, right here. So it's a pretty simple job. And there is a cover right here, a big plastic cover that goes on the top up over here that you do need to take apart or take off. Uh, yeah, and when you do take off the clutch bracket, there's a little, you should be able to see, a pin system. I don't know if I mentioned, but I did take off my driver's seat. That little pin right there is what attaches to the bracket. There is a, uh, basically a little pin, the metal pin that you have to take out. It's fairly easy. I already took this apart and basically just put this back in so I could stop my car and uh, it's not not too long to install definitely don't turn that that little metal uh, housing that attaches to the actual pedal too much because it is an adjustable type deal from what I understand I'll show you that pen that I was talking about the original one is this guy right here, so just kind of goes in there. But I didn't, I didn't decide to do it. Yep. So that's just about it. Should take you about, I don't know, 30 or so minutes. Here I have the pedal, my old one, uh, taken off. Here you can see where it broke, uh, causing me basically a lot of trouble engaging my uh, clutch. Uh, I was barely able to make it home, about 15 miles. So basically what you have to do now is replace this sensor and that sensor. I already moved one to the new pedal. Um, so basically measure the gaps. What I did is ensure that this gap right here was approximately like this, was the same. And I transferred it over to this pedal. And then just measure this gap, this gap down over here when it's closed and try to replicate it on this pedal over here, on the new pedal, or whatever you do. You technically can weld this, but I didn't, I just didn't feel like doing that. Um, pretty thin metal, anyway, so. Yep, and then just reinstall, and uh, yeah. Also, um, I did, man, did find out that basically the pedal is installed like this. This bolt right here, this bolt on this side. There's one over here, one over here, and one up here. This bolt on this side is much easier to get in because they're such thin. Uh, I cannot get my hands in there. It's especially right over there to uh, screw on. The, the bolt is very hard because I have big hands. What I did notice is that uh, I, I mentioned that I took out my uh, driver's side seat on my Accord. When I laid down on my back, I was actually able to get my hand basically backwards and install it like this like behind it actually I think yeah, I used these two fingers but basically because I could not get it in with an adjustable socket wrench and all that stuff maybe you can you know I tried for about 10 minutes I gave up I ended up doing the other way around and it worked just fine so yeah basically yeah so this is that one bolt that's easy to get and this is that one bolt that's difficult to get I just wanted to make a correction uh, the bracket bolt is already installed but it's loose so it can move around and this bolt actually is easy to get with the left hand so you can kind of move it to the side with one hand and then put your hand in there because the right hand is like basically impossible for me and I couldn't it's just too annoying with the extensions um, yeah just so, so you know I did a uh, take out my driver's seat to do this and literally 
if I had not made this video, this job would take less than 30 minutes. And don't forget to install this little uh, this pin system correctly. This thing. Don't forget to install it because it goes, the pin goes through that little hole right there. You have to line it up, which is also kind of a pain. And uh, I'm probably only going to line that pin up. Actually, I'll probably do it right now while everything is loose and then tighten everything up. So yeah, those are my two cents.